Hi there, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com and in this video I would like to show you how to upload your email header, a banner, into your custom email template inside of ConvertKit. So first thing I'd ask you to do is to go over to my blog because I have some code there for you to copy and paste. So you just type in sophiaoja.com O-J-H-A dot com forward slash blog and then come over to this article how to add a banner or logo in your ConvertKit emails. This is where I have some steps outlined and you can just follow this. So first you create a tag inside ConvertKit called test and uh, you'll see in a moment why that is uh, important. Then second, you create your banner and in a different video I've shown you, I showed you how to create a email banner using a free app called Canva. You can go to canva.com and I'll link it here in just a second so you will uh, find that video. So you create your banner in there and then you jump into ConvertKit. So we are taking this video from step number three onwards, all right? So you go inside your convert kit, you're going to create your custom template from scratch. All right. This page you arrive at by clicking on account and then you will see email template. You click on email template, you'll see this page. And most likely you have three default templates already designed by the convert kit team. It's already inbuilt here. You can use any of these as your starting point. So what we're going to do is first go into one of these templates and I like the modern so I'm going to click in here and you're going to copy all of this code. You're going to copy it. Oops, what happened? All right, let me start from the bottom. It's a lot of code so my mouse pad is slipping. Ah, there you go. Okay, I'm going to Click on Command C, copy all of that, and then over here go to All Templates. So you come back to that main page, and now you are going to create a new email template. So you click on this blue button here, and paste all of that code by clicking Command V. And this is on a Mac, so Command V. Name it custom template. Name it something that you can identify in case you're making several different templates. So I have all these for different clients so don't worry about that. I'll just call it Canva banner for my demo. And I will click Save. But we are not done. We're far from done actually. Uh, what you're gonna do is come back to the blog and come over to step number four. Here you will copy this piece of code, Command C, go back into ConvertKit to your custom template, and at the very, very top above style, paste it. All right? And just to highlight this section here where I have some instruction, add the HTML code of the banner here. I'll show you why we're going to need this next. All right. So always use the blog as your guideline because it shows you step by step what to do. Step five is now to upload the banner into ConvertKit. And we do this via broadcasts. So come back into ConvertKit. You can always click on save and jump over here into broadcasts. Click new broadcast and this is where it's, it's selecting all subscribers. Whenever we're doing something for testing or for internal work I always select a test tag you know because mistakes happen and better make a mistake and send it to your test tag than to your wonderful subscribers, right? So always use a test tag when you're doing anything internally and I'll say add filter of course I have zero subscribers there's nobody in my test tag and that's fine 
click on next step all right now here you're going to identify this broadcast as media upload for logos and images do not send so this subject line will identify the purpose of this broadcast you're never gonna email it to anybody but you do need it whenever you are uploading images for your custom template don't get confused this is not something you have to do for your regular emails right in your regular emails you can just click here and insert em your images but for custom templates you gotta upload your banner here so I'm gonna click on insert image I'm gonna choose a file and I'm going to go to my download so I've just made that banner on Canva and I'm gonna open it so Canva already has a email template it's 600 pixels by 200 this is a good size for your convert kit emails uh, just follow that you can tweak it play around with it if you like but that's a good starting point so now the image is uploaded but that's not it you would come over here to this HTML code so it's personalized font and then over here you see these two arrows this is what you'll click and what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab everything that's between the quote quotation marks okay so this is what you're going to copy it's basically where your image lives inside of ConvertKit. Um, so here from HTTPS all the way to PNG. Anything that's in between the quotes. All right, so you just copy that. And now you save this. And next step, it doesn't really matter. Um, just save draft. Okay. So you'll see it come up like this, media upload for logos and images, do not send. You will always have this in your, in your broadcasts. Um, this is where your custom template images live. Okay, next you come back into your account template. Go down to your custom template and Remember I identified this segment before? This is where between the quotation marks you're going to paste the bit that you just grabbed, okay? So you're gonna click on Command V and it doesn't matter if it's on the second line uh, as long as it's between this these uh, quotation marks that's important. Now what's this Alt? Make sure that you change this so alt is basically what if you, uh, you know the inboxes of your subscribers don't show images what should it say instead so you can write here email marketing success with Sophia Oja or whatever text that is obviously is going to be more customized to your business so this is what you would um, change all right and now you can go to preview layout and you can see what this looks like of course it's not um, you know perfect uh, you will have to kind of play around with the um, the design so that it's completely in the center let's see if we can fix that uh, by adding this bit of code like so yes now it's looking nice and centered okay so that's your preview don't forget to save so so important to save and you have your template now we're still not done because if you want to use that template for all your broadcasts then you must activate it by clicking on use this template and you'll see this green um, thing here check mark is gonna come down here so you're gonna click on use this template and boom this template is activated so it's gonna be activated for your incentive emails for 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 your for everything but uh, you must 
make sure that it is activated uh, when you have your sequences you know you can go into the settings of your sequence and over here activate it by clicking so now this will make sure that your sequences also have that new template same thing you do for broadcasts uh, of course in broadcast you have you know something different you go into next step and over here on the right side is account default you click on the custom template that you just created okay so that is how you create your custom banner um, follow all these steps make sure you have tested it send yourself a test uh, email if you like for example by clicking here you can just send yourself uh, a preview it's always nice to send yourself an email instead of just browser which will also show you how everything looks but it's nice to send yourself an email to make sure that everything is perfect all right so i hope that uh, this video was helpful uh, let me know how it worked out send me a sample if you like uh, in the comments below here tell me how it all worked out for you i'd be very happy to know thanks a lot all the best bye